A romantic relationship with a narcissist is difficult, stressful, and it can overwhelm your ability to cope. Narcissists use many manipulation tactics like gaslighting, silent treatments, triangulation, guilt trips, deflection, projection, and all kinds of other ways to make their partner feel confused, exhausted, shameful, and insecure. And if you've ever been in a relationship with a narcissist, you may also know that the end of the relationship is not going to be easy. In fact, oftentimes the breakup is just an extension of the nightmare. I'm Lisa Blah, and in today's video, I will be answering the question, is your narcissistic ex truly happy now without you? And at the end of this video, I'll tell you why you never ever need to be jealous of your narcissist's new partner or relationship. After a breakup, narcissists have many tactics to try to get their partners back into the game. For example, they may hoover you when they are low on supply. And even if they don't want you back, they still want to know that they have control over you and can obtain services, resources, and supply when needed. It is not uncommon for a narcissist to circle back after a breakup, sending love messages, doing over-the-top gestures to demonstrate how much they care, apologizing profusely and promising to change, trying to show you that they really do love you and can't live without you. Who will it be? And before you answer, think of all the good times we've had. The time we met the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. That winter we lived on the sun. And here's my favorite. A blank one we can fill up with a future together. The purpose of this is simple. To convince you to get back in the game where they will quickly be back in charge and in control and back to their old ways. Now, it may take weeks, months, even years for the narcissist to come back. But if and when they do, don't gaslight yourself into thinking that they've changed. Don't rewrite the past or future fake yourself and then blame the narcissist for betraying you or wasting another five years of your life. Maybe you are trauma bonded, but if this is the case, it is your responsibility to get help now that you see this toxic pattern. So sometimes the narcissist doesn't hoover. Let's say you've exposed them, mortified them. You will likely be discarded for good. But either way, after the breakup, the narcissist will almost always replace you with a new partner immediately because they need supply and they will appear to be happier than ever. And this might make you question yourself. Why are they happier without you? Were you the problem? Were things really as bad as you remembered? Okay, so the short answer to the question of whether your narcissistic ex is happy now is probably. They are superficially happy as long as they have adequate supply. So whether you are that supply or another someone is providing that supply, as long as their illusions are upheld, they are happy. But if you're asking whether they are genuinely happy and deeply fulfilled, then I can guarantee that they are not. If you have ever been in a relationship with a narcissist for long enough, you surely experienced a massive drop in your self-esteem. After a while, you probably started to believe that you are worthless, damaged, maybe even unlovable. Once the relationship is over, instead of celebrating your freedom, here you are stuck in a psychological tailspin, mulching over the same questions, stories, memories, and asking why. You can't figure it out. You can't seem to move on while your narcissistic ex, on the other hand, seems to be living it up happier than ever without you. But I want you to first remember how happy they seemed when they first got together with you. Remember when you were their new supply, their soulmate being idealized? Do you remember how amazing they were before all the devaluation started? Second thing, remember how they bashed their horrible ex? Well, now that horrible ex is you. And next month or next year, their new partner will be the horrible ex. And on and on it goes. 
that's the cycle. And their new supply probably has no clue what they're in for. The narcissist has an uncanny ability to pull people into their fantasy illusions, hooking them into the excitement or into giving you a purpose in life to save them and be their hero. Regardless of how you got caught in their web of deception, over time, you will start to recognize their pattern of toxic behavior. The narcissist may or may not be aware of their toxic, repetitive patterns. It may be completely unconscious, but it's very important that you become consciously aware and recognize the patterns. It's important that you get real with yourself because yes, they can be charming. They will hone in on your unfulfilled needs and promise to give you what no one else can. They will make you feel special and loved, shower you with everything you've ever wanted. And you're not the first to fall for it. And you won't be the last. So this time, don't buy into the new illusion that the narcissist is creating for their new supply. Don't buy into the idea that they're sailing off into the sunset so much happier now. Instead, recognize that this new partner is being trapped in the exact same web and that it's not going to end well for them either. He matched her expectations. But she kills him anyway. So when you see that big smile on the narcissist's face as they flaunt their new supply on social media, don't buy in. And if they go as far as sending you a sweet message, thanking you for your time together, letting you know how happy they are now and wishing you the happiness and healing that you deserve, just know that this is another tactic to make you question your sanity, doubt yourself, make you think that it was all your fault. And I'm not saying that you had zero responsibility in the breakdown of the relationship. As I'm sure you're well aware, a narcissist has the ability to put you in survival mode, to trigger your insecurities and bring out the worst in you. And then to amplify any guilt, shame or remorse that you are experiencing. Which is why it is very, very common to be filled with self-doubt, with guilt and with questions about what you did wrong. But remember, soon the narcissist will be devaluing their new partner, messing with their mind, and this fantasy illusion will come crashing down very shortly. While it's true that some narcissists stay in long-term relationships, and when this is the case, the discard is emotional. Okay, so what I want you to remember is that the person with narcissistic personality disorder is not going to change overnight. Most narcissists have very little ability to recognize their behavior or seek treatment. Instead, they blame their last partner and find a new one quickly who they can cast into the role of their new supply. And at first, this person will be the ideal perfect partner, the soulmate, just like you were. But as always, the idealization, love bombing, sex bombing, all that good stuff will come to an end. And the narcissist will be disillusioned and disappointed and quickly back on the hunt for someone else who can be their shiny new toy. So what I'm saying here is that your narcissistic ex has not changed overnight. They have not suddenly become the perfect partner in the perfect new relationship. So you don't need to be jealous. They are just acting happy or they are high on this new illusion that they're creating to reel in their new partner and begin the toxic cycle all over again. So although the narcissist looks happy, um, maybe they look like they're on top of the world right now, Soon there will be the crash, the burn, and the discard. For more information on how a narcissist discards partners, click on the link above. So after the breakup with a narcissist, do expect them to move on quickly. And maybe you'd feel better if your narcissistic ex looked miserable and was actually feeling terrible as you are. But here's the reality. Your narcissistic ex may be on a high right now with their new supply, living it up, 
but soon they will be miserable again as their new partner disappoints them and fails to protect them from their deep-rooted feelings of shame, inadequacy, and their damaged ego. Maybe from the outside, they look happy, but they are not truly happy and they will need to constantly chase supply for the rest of their lives in order to just survive emotionally. And this is why you should never be jealous of your narcissistic ex's new supply. They will soon be treated in the exact same ways as you were. But you, on the other hand, are free to begin to heal and rediscover yourself. And for help recovering from a toxic relationship, please check out the link that I added to the description section of this video. If you are interested in learning more about narcissistic partners and relationships, please click on the link above. And if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss anything.